Hi everyone, in today's Biblical Cities of the Holy Land video, we will take a look at the Old Testament city of Gezer. The Biblical city of Gezer is located in western central Israel at the northern end of the Shepala region. The ancient city, which measured over 30 acres in size at its height, was first discovered in 1887 and it began its life as an unfortified village and campsite. However, by the middle of the Bronze Age, the city had become one of the major fortified centers of the Canaanites in the region. The importance of this city, besides it being located in a fertile agricultural area and next to a dependable water source, came about based upon its strategic location overlooking the nearby North-South Highway to the west known as the Via Maris, and an east-west highway that led from the coastal plain in the west into the hill country to the east. Therefore, whoever controlled Gezer controlled access to the nearby highways and the economic benefits of trade along the highways and the agricultural output of the lands around it. The importance of agriculture to the city may also be demonstrated in a small artifact which was found at the site in 1908 and which is dated to the 10th century BC and which only measures 10 inches tall. This is known as the Gezer Calendar. This limestone tablet, which has an ancient Hebrew inscription written upon it by a man called Abijah, gives a list of agricultural seasons during a year and the appropriate agricultural activities that occurred during them. It is thought by some that the tablet may have been simply a schoolboy's writing exercise, or a poem, or relates to tax collection, though it is unclear why exactly it was written down in the first place. However, this small document does help to show a literate Israelite presence within the city during the 10th century BC, which corresponds to the reign of Solomon, and the importance of agriculture and good agricultural practices to those who lived within the city. During the time of Joshua, the king of Gezer made a failed attempt to help the king of Lachish to the south, according to Joshua chapter 10 verse 33. The city was then located within the tribal allotment of Ephraim and the city itself was then given to the Levites according to Joshua chapter 16 verse 10 and Joshua chapter 21 verse 21. However, even after the defeat of their king by Joshua, the city and its defenders were apparently still strong enough to resist the Israelites, shown by the fact that the city was still in the hands of the Canaanites during the times of both Joshua and the Judges, which can be found in both Joshua chapter 16 verse 10 and Judges chapter 1 verse 29. The strategic importance of the city during the Bronze Age is clearly demonstrated by the fact that it is mentioned in several different ancient Egyptian sources that date to both the Bronze and Iron Ages. It is listed amongst the cities that were taken by Tutmose III while on campaign in Canaan in a wall inscription that is located at the Temple of Amun at Karnak. Tutmose IV also apparently visited the city and took captives from it, according to another inscription. The city and one of its kings, a man named Milkailu, is mentioned several times in the Amarna letters, which date from the reign of Akhenaten. It is also mentioned on the famous Meremptah Stele, which is also known as the Israel Stele, on which I have done an earlier video, which link will be above, which states that Gezer is seized. These sources indicate that Egypt for a time controlled the city during the Bronze Age. The city then for a time apparently was controlled by the Philistines, according to 2 Samuel chapter 5 verse 25 but was then retaken by the Egyptians who according to 1 Kings chapter 9 verses 15 to 17 gave the city to Solomon as a dowry when Solomon married a daughter of Pharaoh which is found recorded in 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 1. The city which apparently had been destroyed by the Egyptians in the Iron Age was then rebuilt and re-inhabited by the Israelites in the 10th century BC which Israelite presence is strongly supported by the discovery of the earlier mentioned Gezer calendar. It was also strongly re-fortified by King Solomon, who would have appreciated its vital strategic, military and economic value. 
In relation to Solomon's building projects at the city, a casement wall, which consists of a series of double walls which were divided into smaller chambers which could be filled with dirt or rubble or stone etc during times of siege to strengthen them against attack, but which could also be used as a storage space during times of peace, was found, as well as a four-chambered gate, have been discovered at Gezer. Interestingly, similar designed and built walls and gates have also been found at the strategic sites of Megiddo and Hatzor, which the book of 1 Kings chapter 9 verse 15 states also had their defences rebuilt by King Solomon. The biblical reference and the similarities in both their design and construction has led some to conclude that the casement walls and gates that were built at Gezer, Megiddo and Hatzor were all built during the reign of King Solomon. Later in the 8th century BC, the city was then destroyed by the Assyrians during the reign of Tiglath-Pileser III, which victory is recorded in a decorative relief. The city was then destroyed again in 587 BC by the Babylonians. Gezer then lost its significance after its destruction by the Babylonians, though continued on as a minor settlement into the Roman period until about the 1st century AD. A series of 13 boundary stones from the Roman period with inscriptions have been found at Gezer. Written in both Greek and Hebrew, they read, Belonging to Ikeos, Boundary of Gezer. These stones clearly help to demonstrate that this site is indeed the biblical site of Gezer. Other important discoveries that have been found at the site include a large man-made water system which is similar to other such systems that have been found at sites like Megiddo, Hatzor and Gibeon. Of particular note is a series of 10 monolithic standing stones which were all erected in a north-south line with some being a height of 10 feet have been discovered at Gezer which appear to have been set up during the Canaanite control of the city during the Bronze Age. It is commonly thought that they were used during religious worship or for a ritual purpose though their exact purpose and use is unclear and may remain so. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new videos every Friday.